Okay, so here's my latest uh, Netduino project. Um, as you can see, I've grown a little bit since the last one. Um, I now have two little breadboards. Um, there's a potentiometer somewhere beneath all those lines. And there's this LCD uh, screen here. And if we look closer here, you can see that there are two sensors that I've had here. This is a light sensor, and this is a temperature sensor. Okay, and everything that gets recorded by these two sensors goes both to the screen and to the little uh, SD card here. So I have a nice log file. Since the SD card is uh, one gig in size, I can actually save days and months on it. So um, let's look at the screen for a second. So you can see the temperature in my apartment right now, and, and the sensor is not that great. The temperature sensor, you can see it's showing 23.48 celsius more or less uh, but the light sensor is very very good so as you can see now it says that it's uh, the conditions are light conditions and you can actually see that if for example i do this and hide it a little bit it goes to dim and if i let's say throw this black rug on it well, obviously not on the screen itself you can see that it goes to dark um, another nice test to do is take this flashlight and shine the light on the sensor. So this turns it into a very bright condition. Okay. Now the next step would be to use this little adapter here to get these results to the internet. Um, I'll either use a Twitter account or one of those websites that allow you to upload sensors data. Um, and another thing I'm hoping to solve is all this wire mess here by using a shift register, which will allow me to use just three or four cables instead of the 16 that I'm using right now. Um, finally, one comment to the people who made this wonderful board. So you can see this very, very bright LED here, which is the status LED of the board. Problem is, this is on all the time and it's very bright, which is screwing up with the light sensor. Because even if I leave it in a very dark room, it still keeps reading as dim because it keeps getting uh, light from this little LED, which forces me to do this every time I want to leave it alone. Just hide the LED. Okay, that's it. Hopefully next time the board would look much nicer and much cleaner than this.